But right now, she's our queen of comedy, an amazing actress and host of this year's Mardi Gras celebrations. I know when that eyeline bling That can only mean one thing Hi, I'm Sharon Streslecky. Hi, nice to meet you too. Oh, Kelly's the man who is sharing my life and my bed at this point in time. Oh, nice. Unusual. Yeah, no, different. Yeah, good. Good day. Coke, please. Nothing else. Take your fancy. Get ready for more. 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 Be a huge welcome to Magnus Yay! Bansky, everyone. <laughs> well, the hits keep coming. What about that video? It takes you uh, back. Yeah, it does take me back. Yes, I look at some of the things I've done over the years. And a professional fool. Oh, my please. Job. It was awesome. Some of the best TV ever. Do you have a favourite character of all of those? Um, look, I do love Tired, Tired, Tired. I said love, I said pet. Yeah. I said look, I said look. Um, and, uh, and Sharon, of course. Yeah, yeah, yes. yeah she has. She's kind of the girl that we all went to school with. Yeah. And, and we kind of feared in a way. But she was her own person. Mm. Yeah, but I was. I, it's interesting. I kind of was saying this the other day that one of the things we love about Sharon is not just that she's funny, but she's sort of a bit sad too. And I think that everyone kind of relates to that. Mm. There's that vulnerability in Sharon. And you just want to give her a hug. You yeah. just want to give her a hug. And who wouldn't want to have her as a second best friend? Actually, oh, yeah, she hello. just does everything for Kim. Every so, Friday night, yeah. you'd have yeah. her yeah. over. Yeah, you'd yeah. yeah. have yeah. yeah. yeah, you'd hear that squeak of the That's sliding it. door, and in she comes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But the yeah. best comedy is that layered comedy, isn't it? Yeah. Where, you, where yeah. you feel multiple emotions for someone. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Hard yes. to get right. Yeah, very hard. Yes. Oh, very hard. An amazing yes. actor. Yeah, yeah. 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 I'll be fantastic actor in. <laughs> you never stop working. You've always got things happening. What are you working on at the moment? Uh, well, I'm just about to host Mardi Gras, so um, that's happening this weekend. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Party. Uh -huh. uh, so that'll be fun. So very. What exciting. does that involve? Um, well, there's four of us. There's um, Faustina and Tom Ballard and Patrick, and we will be co-hosting um, the the event, which will go, which will be to wear on uh, Sunday night on S mm. on SBS. Mm. Um, Kim Jong Un, <laughs> he's a yeah. pastor, isn't he? <laughs> isn't he? He loves the party. Um, and the parade will. It's a huge parade this year. There's like 175 floats, yeah. and it's 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 really when the sort of diverse. It's it's an amazingly diverse, very very inclusive event actually. Uh, I think it shows um, Australia at its best in terms of the, the incredible diversity that you see in that flight. And the creativity and it's funny yeah. and, you know, hundreds of thousands of people come out to watch it. It generates $35 million for the economy. So it's a pretty amazing event, really. So we're very excited. You know, I reckon it's always wonderful to look back on um, the Mardi Gras and, and why it started. Yes. And how important it was for it to start. And yeah. now it's sort of, it's much more mainstream and, and, and all of that. But it's still a reminder of how far we need to go. I think it's worth yeah. reminding people on this weekend as well. It's a party, yeah. but it's also it's a good reminder of how far we need to come as well. Look, the whole theme of this of this week of this one is uh, momentum, and yeah. and really when I look back on my childhood and I see the, the sort of the pushback that's happening at the moment, like with the Safe Schools program, and yeah. mm. it makes me heart sick. When I think if, if I'd had something, sorry. Mm -hmm like that when I was young because I, I was I wanted to end my life and to think that people are accusing us of having a homosexual agenda our agenda is to save the lives of our young people and to help them survive when there are voices that are accusing them of being unnatural and sick and wrong and sorry no it's <laughs> it really it's so I think to try and get people to understand um, what's at stake here and and I, I think all we're asking of people, I look at my family who, my Polish family during the war risked their lives to save Jewish people. Uh, they risked, my grandparents risked their own lives and they risked the lives of their children because it was the right thing to mm. do. And all we ask of people is that they open their minds and their hearts mm. and that they think differently. That's all we ask. Just an amazing revelation there and thank you for being so open and honest. Mm. Um, Sorry, with, with, no, no, early in the morning. I haven't <laughs> had enough coffee. Um, with our audience <laughs> at home um, too, I'm sure, are very grateful that, that, that you're being so open um, and we appreciate it um, mm. because there, there are lessons to be learned. Um, you, you went back to your childhood and you went back to some of those 
those things that really deeply hurt you. Deeply. What can yeah. we do um, to ease the hurt? Well, I think exactly things like the Mardi Gras, which is, I mean, you look at the hate and the disgust that's directed at us, and what do we do? We don't become terrorists. We throw mm. a party, we throw a parade, mm. we bring love, we ask for equality. That's what we're asking for. So things like marriage equality sends a very powerful message. Mm. Um, our young people are six times more likely to attempt suicide. That's 600 per cent. So there is a lot at stake for this. Um, and I, I don't want to bring a sort of a down a note to the no, whole thing because it is an amazing party. But exactly what you're saying, underpinning all of this, is the injustice that's been done to, to LGBTQI people for thousands of years. And so we are trying to actually protect our own. And then we have people like Corey Bernardi who are, who are accusing us. It, it's the same thing. What, what made me so profoundly um, sort of self-loathing, really, when I was young, was that conflation of homosexuality and paedophilia. Mm. And when you see people accusing the Safe Schools Program of things like grooming or indoctrinating, it is simply our attempt to protect mm. the young people and create a space for everyone to be who they are. Mm. And Mardi Gras is a, just a brilliant celebration of that. It is so inclusive in terms of Indigenous people, different nat nationalities, disabilities mm. and abilities. And I think it's, it's something we should be extraordinarily proud of to have created. I've been to the Mardi Gras in New York, San Francisco, Madrid. Mm. Sydney's Mardi Gras is absolutely one of the best in the world. Mm. It's a stunning showpiece and I think we should all be really proud mm. of it and embrace it and have a heap of fun. But mm. be aware of um, the, the other... As you're saying, you know, like where it all comes from, how it all started and, and what mm. that's about. It's, it's an indication, too, of just this stays with you. When you've, when you've gone through that as a child, it does yeah. stay with you. And it's also an indication it took you a long time to, to come out. Look, I was so irradiated with homophobia and with that... You, we're not stupid. You know, you know if people think that you're disgusting, unnatural, sick, perverted, you know, and that message comes through. And so we have to um, try and push back to change the thinking, to change the language, so that it's so easy mm. to just want to stay in your comfort zone. Mm. And if we want to create a kind of a world that is tolerant and accepting, I know from the example of my family, it takes effort, nothing like the effort that they gave, but just to actually not be um, lazy in your prejudices. And I have to do that too. I have my own assumptions about a lot of things and we constantly have to challenge ourselves. But it's not that great a deal to ask from people that they just open their minds and their hearts. And that's really all we're asking mm. for is that, that sort of bit of an effort. And then a party. <laughs> Magda, I like to party with gay men. Do you? Yeah. Good I think on they're you. They're outstanding dancers. They, oh, um, look. They, I... wear, they wear, wear very little clothes, which is what I like to do on the weekends. <laughs> and uh, it's going to be an awesome party this weekend. It's um, going to be so, a fantastic. So let's celebrate party. all that, keeping all that in mind. Um, yeah. Thank you for being so honest and lovely and beautiful and open. Um, and have a great time this weekend. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks very much. Mind. Thanks for having Good me. Congratulations thank for you. being out the front. Yeah, oh, exactly. Thanks. Yes. <laughs> no, I'm Go man. Oh, thanks. Yeah. Oh, I don't know yet. I'll oh, be wearing something. Oh, come on, you something. do so. No, just, just, just some bright colours. But I'm, just, I'm a bit, I'm from Melbourne, you know, it'll be black, basically. <laughs> <laughs> There's some very interesting With black stuff out there, let me tell you. Beautiful outfit. Choose wisely. Yeah. <laughs> or not. You know those pants with the... Um... Mm. Yeah, yeah, we do know anyway. those. Uh, yeah. Thanks, man. Thank <laughs> you. Nice to see Have you. Have a great time.